Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's two months back on Carnival. I'm out here uh, just burning some scrap wood that I've had laying beside the garage for years and figured I'd do a video. It's uh, World Carnivore Month, as you know, and there's a lot of folks on YouTube starting their carnivore journey, and that's awesome. And to anyone that's new to carnivore, this is their first try, um, good luck, and stick with it. As someone who's tried carnivore three times now, this is the third time, um, I wish that I had never stopped the first time that I started. This is kind of an update video, two months in. Um, some of y'all know from my last video, my wife is trying out carnivore, or at least uh, of her rendition of it. And um, she seems to be enjoying it, which totally surprises me. <clears throat> she tried it out the first time that I did, and uh, didn't last but a few days. But she seems to be enjoying it and having a good time finding recipes, watching folks um, like Laura Spath and Courtney Luna and um, some of the other folks. She's looking up recipes. She's listening to what they say about how you know they're going to feel and, and things like that. So. I'm really excited to see how she does on it. As far as me, um, I've still been pretty strict, um, but it seems like the last two, two and a half weeks, there's been no weight loss. Um, I've kind of st stuck steady at 330, between 333 and 335, and uh, that's been a little bit disheartening, but in the last two weeks, I have started, you know, working out, weight training, I guess you could say, uh, two days a week, <clears throat> Tuesdays and Thursdays usually, although I didn't yesterday, so I need to today. Um, and as y'all know, I, I've, I've, I've lifted weights, or I lifted weights a lot when I was a kid, and so I don't know how to just do lightweight, low rep, or high rep. So, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking, could it be... I wouldn't think muscle mass would be a thing within two, two and a half weeks of working out um, to where, you know, it's becoming more dense than the fat that I've lost <clears throat> and therefore keeping my weight the same. I wouldn't expect that. I wouldn't think that. Um, you know, uh, there's some things that I could tighten up on the diet. Um, I still drink um, the zero sugar, zero calorie energy drinks and I know you can go ahead and type in the comments if you want I know I don't I shouldn't do that I know that I don't need to it still has sucralose in it, it still has some sort of sweetener um, but that's that's a vice that I've not been able to kick um, still eating dairy and uh, still eating cheeses and stuff like that but I eat cheeses throughout the entire time the first time I lost so much weight so you know, I joked in the last video that I wasn't starting BBBE, but I'm wondering if maybe I should to maybe jumpstart a little bit of weight loss. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at right now. It's it's weird because I'm enjoying the diet this time. Like, I don't have any struggles. Like, today I, I ate um, four patties from one of my favorite uh, places while I was out on the road. Had to go get a haircut and some stuff and do some errands so I had four patties and uh, you know it wasn't even a question while I was out if I was going to eat anything that I shouldn't um, stopped and got gas picked up a uh, a little cheese and salami tray whereas usually I would have picked up two two candy bars and a coke or something like that and um, so it's I mean it's starting to be like a routine like, I'm not thinking about the carbs. I'm not thinking about the other things that I used to eat. Someone posted a comment on one of my Instagram stories or something. And was like, if you're not losing weight, you're still eating too much. But I'm honestly, I don't, I don't see how I'm eating too much. Yesterday for food all day, I had a, um, a steak from Waffle House with eggs and bacon. Um, it was on lunch break for work and we were going to go to a place called Barberitos which is kind of like a subway for Mexican food and I know I can get like a bowl of meat 
and some cheeses there. But they were closed, so Waffle House was the next best thing I could think of in a pinch. <clears throat> and then for that was for lunch, and then for dinner last night, I had the strip steak that if you've watched the short or watched Instagram, you saw that I cooked. Um, and a few pieces of rotisserie chicken with that. That's all I ate all day, and I worked all day. Um, the, the job I did that, that yesterday, I mean, it wasn't like I was strenuous, but I was still moving around. Um, I didn't put my watch on until after 10 a.m., and before I got in the truck to come home, I was at 8,000 and some steps. Um, you know, I've mentioned before, on a busy day of work, it's easy for me to get 14 to 20,000 steps. So it wasn't like it was a crazy, busy, strenuous day, but that's still not a lot of food. If one of y'all are smart with calories and counting, you can add up those things that I just said. The steak was a little over 10 ounces, um, probably ate a quarter of a chicken and uh, whatever Waffle House's eggs and bacon and steak are. Um, but that's usually a normal day. Some days it's only one meal and it would just be a steak and like some pork rinds and eggs or something like that. You've seen the, the charcuterie board that I've been eating. We, we did that twice this week. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I just need to tighten up and do BBB and E. I know Kip and Larry and all of them are doing it and Cassie and I mean there's a bunch of people that are doing it this month for World Carnivore Month but I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, if you're starting out carnivore new, uh, hit the ground running, but don't overanalyze it. Just do what you think you need to do and get the basics down first before you start jumping into all these challenges and all these groups and all these, um, you know, more restrictive than the carnivore diet already is. Um, that's how I got burnt out the first time or the second time and so that's why I'm hesitant to do it now because the last time I stopped doing carnivore it was the month after the BBB and E and so I'm, I'm hesitant to start that again because I don't want to get so burnt out um, I've been noticing the last few days that I've been kind of sleepy in the middle of the day so I don't know if I'm just not sleeping good um, I don't do the water, uh, like gallon of water a day anymore. <clears throat> I don't know if that has anything to do with it. A lot of folks jumped onto me for doing that. I don't know. It's, it's weird advice to tell somebody to not drink water, but it is what it is. So anyway, that's where we're at. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, is there something else I should be doing? Um, do you think it has anything to do with lifting weights? Do you think it has anything to, that I'm eating too much? I really, I really don't feel like I'm eating too much. I only eat when I'm hungry. Normally I fast for 16 to 20 hours a day uh, before I eat. Yesterday was just an anomaly, eating twice a day. And I was actually hungry when I got home. So I ate. Um, one of the guys I watch on YouTube, I can't remember his name. He does a lot of shorts talking about what he eats in a day. I think he's like a nutritionist too. But he said that sometimes when he thinks first starts feeling like he's hungry, he'll drink a glass of water and wait an hour and if he's still hungry after the hour he'll go ahead and eat um, maybe that's something I need to start doing maybe when I'm thinking I'm hungry I'm not really hungry and I could be pushing those fasts out even longer I don't know it's weird I feel like I, I should be fasting some people tell me I shouldn't be fasting uh, it's that's another thing if you're, if you're new to carnivore you're gonna you're gonna get hit with a ton of information especially if you're documenting it on YouTube there's always going to be somebody out there that thinks that they know better for you than what you know for you. And you're always going to be thinking, well, am I doing this right? Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> and uh, I guess that's where I'm at right now. I've gotten so many different comments, so many different um, opinions. And I just don't, I guess I'm at a place now where I'm like, I should be losing weight and I'm not. So that's where it's at. We're two months in and I don't have any desire to quit. Um, I guess you could look at non-scale victories. I, I feel I don't feel as bloated. Normally, I'd feel like my stomach is, you know, protruding, and uh, I don't feel like that. 
I, um, I feel like my clothes are fitting lo more loosely. But again, I'm not losing any weight. And I know I shouldn't focus on scale. Somebody's going to comment, throw your scale out. Well, unfortunately, we need some kind of tangible evidence to know that we're succeeding. And that's how I find that evidence. Um, I don't, I haven't measured myself. Maybe I need to measure myself. If, uh, you know, if somebody wants to send me a measuring tape, you can do that. <laughs> if somebody wants to send me anything, you can do that. It's all in the links down below. You can, anything that I think I need, it's all linked down below. But in a wish list, apparently that's a thing now. But um, I don't, like I've never tried Redmond salt. If somebody wants to send it to me, it's down in the description box. But anyway, um, as you can tell, I'm a little, I'm, I'm like frustrated. I'm not really. But I'm not really like I'm still happy. I'm still I still feel good. Um, I just don't understand. So any actual experts out there want to let me know what I need to do? That'd be cool. All right, guys, that's it. That's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate all the support. You guys are still awesome. The Instagram and stuff has been kicking off. You guys have been supporting everything that I'm doing over there. All the support here on YouTube, the support for Wifey and her journey in the in one of the last videos, that was awesome to see. Folks telling her, you know, to good job, you know, stick with it, stuff like that. That's really cool, and we appreciate that. So, we'll try to do a cooking video next week. I didn't do one this week. A lot of people have been asking about the meatballs, um, the venison meatballs, and the other meatballs that I posted on Instagram. Um, the ones on Instagram were just Laura's, Laura Spath's um, bacon and, and cheeseburger meatballs um so we may do a charcuterie a, what was it they somebody commented and said can we just agree to call it a a carnival a carnival a carnivore 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 i can't remember <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's what it was though it was pretty it was pretty witty whatever it was all right guys i'm gonna hop off here uh appreciate y'all for watching thanks again guys y'all stick with me we'll see what we can do thanks guys god bless